Church Hot Sauce. I am Pepper Bay. Today we've got a uh, really, really fun day. Norma's Latin Rub. You got the Cubano flag in the background there. Nice little frog playing the guitar. You know, he's having a good time. He's ready for a good spice blend. He's, he's getting ready. Very excited about this. Again, the artwork is absolutely phenomenal. Again, <laughs> loving the Cuban flag on there. It's making me hungry for a Cubano. If you guys have never had a Cubano, go out, leave your house right now, and go get a Cuban sandwich. It's delicious. Let's see what we got going on smell-wise. Oh, the Cuban. Oh, the Cuban. I use I, I probably use cumin like at least I don't know three four times a week just in like something I'm cooking on the stove top. Wow. All right, you got adobo, which consists of salt, garlic powder, black pepper, oregano, onion powder, turmeric, and cumin. And you got garlic powder, onion powder. Complete seasoning, which is salt, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, thyme, oregano, white pepper, black pepper. Then you got saison, which is going to be a salt, garlic powder, coriander, cumin, and lanato. That or anato, I apologize. Then you have a lemon pepper, Chipotle, smoked paprika, sugar, black pepper, basil, cumin, parsley, and mixed peppercorns. Mmm. Ooh, automatically, my nose is like fajitas. We're making fajitas. You know, when you go to a restaurant and that fajita, you go to, especially a Latin place, and you see like, you know, the, the server bringing that plate that of just sizzling hot fajitas right on by, and you can hear it still. You're like, was gonna get something else, but I'm getting those fajitas. Mmm. The smell is absolutely out of this world. You're getting the, the cumin. Cumin brings a lot of other stuff out. Um, the citrus with the cumin, with the layer of the peppers, the onion, the garlic. Oh my goodness. And again, I uh, love the way it's not. It's not too blended, but it's not. Uh, it's it's not like a pure powder. Um, so you're getting a little chunkiness going on, which if you're whatever you're using it on if you're using it as a finishing product Or if you're using it like on the pro the protein before you you sear it It's great because it will dissolve enough to where it's not gonna be there's not gonna be like a gritty texture to it um, Which if you know, there's a reason why like uh, Coarse salt is like a finishing salt like especially like on a steak because it will dissolve to a certain extent, it's not going to be super overly gritty, gritty when you um, when you go into it like that. Also, it's cut a little bit thinner. It's like a flake, um, so that way it has the opportunity to dissolve. Because nobody wants a, like a grittiness when you when you bite into something. That's not I, I, at least I don't. <laughs> so oh yeah, I literally I literally like. <laughs> On tacos, on fajitas, on chicken. Uh, you could use this instead of using that bland, prepackaged taco seasoning that, you know, some of us were, you know, hey, it's been a long week and we don't want to throw a spice blend together. Use this in your taco meat instead. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. And again... I'm eating these spice blends straight up, and I, none of them have been overpowering to where I'm like, oh, oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of salt, or I couldn't just do this. Uh, and that shows you how well these spice blends are put together because I'm able to do that and not just be like me, <laughs> me making some kind of face from the spice blends. Hmm. Wow. The citrus, the lemon that's coming through with that 
is so wonderful. Wow, wow, wow. And that's Norma's Latina rub. Little frog guy jamming on his guitar. Had a good time. Just like we're having a good time. That's a 10 out of 10, guys. Um, I, I cannot wait to use this on, on some taco meat, to be honest with you. That's the first thing that comes to mind, like fajitas. If you're going to do some kind of skirt steak... And sear it off, and then cut it off, and, and cut it up into long strips for fajitas. Cook it up some bell peppers. That, that's great. But honestly, first thing that comes to mind is just some straight taco meat, some deliciousness. You know, white people taco night. You know, or you, or you can you can go crazy with it, and where they have, um, you know, where you've got you go know, those classic flavor profiles going on. And you can go all out, have your cilantro, have your cilantro and onions, have your fresh cut limes, um, or you can just go, you know, meat, cheese, and a little bit of hot sauce. But either way, this is fantastic. Go out and get some of this. Again, from TNT Spices out of Pennsylvania. Friends of the show, really appreciate their support, really appreciate their products and what they're trying to accomplish here. So let's go and support them. Yummy. Appreciate y'all joining me today. Uh, everybody have a great rest of your afternoon. Remember, one of us wins, we all win. And as always, here on Church of Hot Sauce, may the spice be with you and also with you. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Because I'm too